Hi everyone. I'm going to teach this lesson again because my last lesson didn't go very well, so I'm just going to re-explain everything that's on the board without writing it all up. So today we're looking at the quadratic formula. And yesterday we looked at completing square. Today we're going to use that completing the square to develop the formula. So if you just have a look and come along with the ride with me, we'll see. So we've got this formula that's ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. That means we're solving. We're finding solutions. We know in a quadratic we have two solutions. That's what we're aiming to get to. So first of all, like yesterday, we take a out of the first two parts. So when we take a out of this one, because it didn't have an a, we have to divide by a. Once we've done that, we've moved c over to the other side. We want to divide by times divide. So we get this line here. We're trying to get to just one x, and to do that, we complete the square. So we take half of the middle term, which is this one with the x. So we've got x plus b over a, and half of it means 2a, all squared. So when we multiply that back out, we introduce an extra b squared over 4ac squared, which we have to add. So this times this, x times x is x squared, these two added together, that's a half of that, and a half of that makes a whole, so no 2 anymore. And this times this, b times b is b squared, 2 times 2 is 4, a times a is a squared. So we've got this extra bit. So we need to add it to both sides. It's already in here from this. So we need to add it to this side. So now that we've got that, what we need to do is think about common denominators. So we've got a common denominator of 4a squared. So this one here has to be multiplied by... 4 and a, so we've got negative 4ac, so negative 4ac, plus b squared all over 4ac squared. So we can write that as just over 1. From here, so I've rearranged this to make the minus in the middle, so b squared and a minus 4ac. Then we have to take the square root. So we take the square root, when we take the square root, we've got to have a plus and a minus. So it's the square root of all of this, but the square root of the denominator is 2a. So we can just write that as 2a and leave the square root on the top. Now I've brought, brought this plus b over 2a onto the other side. I've got minus b over 2a. So I've got this thing. They're both over 2a, so I can write them all over 2a. And that gives us this thing here, which is called the quadratic formula. You don't have to learn that. It's on your formula sheet. So all you have to do is make sure that when you're asked to use it, you write it out properly. So that brings us to another point. We can actually find the solutions of any quadratic formula by using our graphics calculator, as long as we're not asked to use a specific method. So if we're asked to complete the square or asked to use a quadratic formula, then we have to do that. So if we aren't used, we use the equation menu, F2 for polynomial, never use solver, all right? That only gives us one answer. If we've got an x squared, we need to use the polynomial button. And degree 2, because we've got a squared, power is 2, okay? And then that will give us our two answers. Let's have a look at an example. So in this example, they've told us to use the quadratic formula to solve this. We've got a equals 3, b equals 7, and c equals negative 4. It is really sensible to use this part of the formula first. So b squared minus 4ac. So 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 4 is 49 plus 48, which is 97. That's nice and easily found and then put in the formula. So in that bit there. So negative b plus or minus square root of 97 over 2a. b is 7, a is 3, so 2 threes is 6. All right, so therefore, when you are calculating this, you need to make sure you do the top line divided by the bottom line. So put the top line in bracket, negative 7 plus square root of 97 equals divided by 6 equals 0.475, and negative 7 minus square root of 97 divided by 6 equals negative 2.808 to 3dp. So what you can do to check that you've done this right is use this, put it in, and see if these are the right things. Okay, I hope this has helped.